Hey everybody, Rich with PCC. Hey, a couple months back I did a, a video on the topic of which type of safety control device to use uh, in your application. So we talked about safety relays, we talked about programmable safety relays, and then finally safety PLCs and, and the pros and cons and sizes and things like that. Uh, what I want to talk about specifically today is the Siemens Safety PLC uh, offering. You might hear it referred to by Siemens as their safety integrated line of PLCs. Um, so I, I want to talk to you about why that's the, the right solution. Why, why would you use Siemens Safety PLCs versus others? And the first thing that I would state is they're very cost effective. Um, you know, how, how is it cost effective? Is it just simply a price point thing? No, it's, it's the scalability and, and a lot of the included features that you might have to pay extra uh, with, with other, other products. So the first thing is, you know, you can get safety PLCs in the higher end controllers, which, which obviously do cost a little bit more or a bit more uh, depending on the performance that you need, but you can actually get safety PLCs in the form factor of the S7-1200 PLC. So when you want that, that all-in-one solution where you've got the CPU and you've got local I.O., uh, but you don't, you don't need that higher-end PLC, but you need the ability to be able to do safety applications, e-stops, control drives, things like that uh, from a safe perspective, you can do that in the low end just as well as in the high end, where again, I see in the market, typically you got to go to the higher-end PLCs, which then right away your cost jumps uh, immediately. The other way that things are, are cost effective with the, with the safety integrated solution is there's no extra hardware required for the safety PLC. You buy that safety variant PLC and there's no extra hardware you have to buy. There's no redundant partner uh, CPU that, that's required. Uh, everything uh, from a safety perspective is processed inside of a single CPU, uh, inside of a single piece of hardware. Uh, so you, you don't have to buy that extra piece, right? Uh, another thing is the communications. So regardless of whether we're in the S7-1200 world or whether we're in the S7-1500 world and the higher end CPUs, the communications are built in. Matter of fact, in the, in the 1500 line, as you get into the mid-range and higher, not only do you have a single Ethernet network interface on board that CPU, you've got two. And if you even go all the way up to the 1518, which is the top of the line performance for the Siemens PLCs, you actually have three in, uh, Ethernet network interfaces on board the CPU. That can represent several thousand dollars of extra expenditure for your application if you have to buy those extra, mount those in, you got to have room in your chassis, things like that. Uh, in this case, uh, with, with, with these Siemens uh, S7 failsafe PLCs, Everything is processed in the single controller and all the communications are integrated, very scalable uh, uh, you know, from a, a, um, a hardware perspective. Uh, the, the, the cost of these CPUs, when you look at what a standard CPU costs versus the safety variant of it, uh, you're usually talking about 20 to 30% increase. So you're not talking about double or triple the price of CPU in order to get that, that safety capability built in. Uh, the physical form factor is the same. So for instance, this happens to be a 1516 CPU. Well, if I buy the 1516 standard CPU or the 1516 fail-safe CPU, they're exactly the same dimensions. They have exactly the same uh, communications capabilities. Uh, so you don't have to worry about different dimensions and, and different sizes when it comes to these, these processors. So you've got cost effectiveness. You've got, uh, you've got the, the, the consistency with regards to the overall design. Um, diagnostics. So a typical problem that you might have in a system is contact blocks like the fall off the back of, of e-stop. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna simulate that situation very quickly here. So you can see that my system has failed safe. I am now in a, in a down condition. Uh, the, the system is, is programmed to enunciate that properly. But the important thing here is from a system diagnostics perspective, the PLC automatically enunciates that information via the screen of the CPU. Uh, it can automatically uh, enunciate that via the HMI on the system. It can enunciate it via the web server uh, that's, that's built into the CPU and then also your programming software. So this is not a situation where you, and this is all based on the, the, the configuration of the TIA portal as you program this PLC. You didn't have to write extra code to evaluate some bit that says, okay, trigger an alarm in an HMI. What happens is as soon as you create the hardware configuration with the associated um, I.O. and devices out on the networks, when you have a problem, those diagnostics are automatically enunciated. All right, the next thing is drives. 
With very few exceptions, most all the Siemens drives that have Profinet Ethernet connectivity also can speak to the safety PLCs over the network. So what that means is no extra modules, no extra wiring to, to safety IO points on, you know, in, in the system. Everything from both a standard control perspective and safety control is communicated between the Siemens safety PLC and the drive over ethernet. Again, I see a lot of situations where some manufacturers, they have some, some integrated safety or some, some network-based safety on, on a piece of the line, but not on the complete line. Uh, like I said, there's very few exceptions within the Siemens por por portfolio when it comes to uh, drive-based safety. And not just uh, basic safety either. We're not just talking about uh, safe torque off. We're talking about being able to do the higher end stuff with safe limited speed, safe direction. All that good stuff is built into the Siemens drives and can be uh, communicated over the, the Ethernet network. Another one is wireless. Profinet as a communications architecture lends itself very well to wireless. Well, it also lends itself well to safety control over Profinet, over wireless. Uh, there, are, there are plenty of features and functions built into both the, the, the communications of the, of, the, of the safety PLC and also uh, features that are built into the wireless hardware that will allow you to do wireless safety applications. Uh, you know, I, I get a lot of kind of uh, some pushback on that. Uh, and, and what I always say is if you can run a wire, you absolutely should run a wire. But there's plenty of situations where you need to, you need to implement that safety capability, but you just can't get the wire there due to the environment. So safety over wireless is also a, a very good fit uh, for this architecture. And then finally, the, the kind of the most important thing is I mentioned it earlier, the, the totally integrated automation portal software. Uh, that piece of software is, is ahead of the market with regards to its inter integration capabilities. The idea that you have the PLC, the HMI, the drive, the network configuration, and then also even the safety programming all built into the same same tool set so when you hit that download button you're, 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 you're programming everything at the same time you're, you're taking care of all of your devices within exactly the same environment and not having to port out to different tools uh, to, to, uh, to get your safety application up and running so Hopefully you got something out of this today and you, you, you can see that there's some definite advantages to using the safety PLCs from Siemens uh, as opposed to some of the other solutions that are out there. If you have any questions, please reach out. We'll have our contact information available for you below. Thanks.